Hello, um, I'm Ellie. Welcome to the channel. This is my deck profile for my Invoke Shadow Thunder deck profile. I'm going to start with three Alistair the Invoker. Search is your invocation. It's pretty standard. Three Magical Meltdown and one Terraforming. Once again, pretty standard. This searches your Alistair, which then searches the invocation. Two Invocation. Searched. <laughs> Three Thunder Dragon Dark. I prefer this over Raw, as by if this gets banished, you get to search the Hawk, and it will allow you to play around Nibiru a lot easier. Then we have the two Raw, and the one Hawk, which is a searchable light, which will make you your Makaba, and it all combos together really well. We then have Free Shadow Fusion. This card is amazing. By using it the, with the package I have, I'm able to pop, draw, and put two monsters on the board, which is incredible. And it also will trigger Alistair the Invoker, which I'll show a bit later on. So here's the the draw, the pop, and the monster on the board. You have to pay a thousand, but it's it's, it's worth it. Um, and also, if you have Magical Meltdown up, this can become potentially unnegatable destruction. Because people cannot respond to fusions. For example, this is a fusion. So it's it combos really well. Three Allure. My personal variant plays 13 darks. So it's really easy to pull this off. And this way, you won't wish banishing an invocation like you would with a pot of desires. And yeah, it just makes everything 10 times easier. And it combos incredibly well with your thunders. One gold sarcophagus. Full Thunder combo, it's full Thunder combo. Now we're going on to the more flexible spots, starting with my hand traps. Three Phantasmi. It uh, fixes your hands. I don't know everybody will be able to have this, so you can just replace it with another hand trap, being preferably a Ghost Over or Effect Veiler, because they're light targets and that will make you a Macabre. Which is why I play three Effect Veilers. Originally, these were three Nibiru's, but I decided to remove them because everybody plays around Nibiru. And I haven't been that able to get them off as much as I would like. On to the just general flex spots. Two Gamsil. Ips Avermax. This is an amazing way to get out of it. The BLS link. It gets out of so many troublesome things. Three Called by the Grave. Even going second This in this deck, I think it's vital. Because Droll kills the deck. Ash can really hurt the deck. And yeah, you, you need a way to stop that from happening. And if not, then hit the ray, hit the symbol target. It's it can work really well with every every kind of matchup. Then we have two instant fusions. Forces and negate. It's a body on board. What more could you really need? And then we have two cosmics. Hit the multi roll. Hit the crescendo. Force the crescendo. It's amazing. It's definitely really key. Now on to my extra deck. We have the Solomon Great All Mirage. This is what you link your Alistair the Invoker into. And it's a, a fire, so that'll give you a Purgatory. We then have Alistair the Invoker of Madness. I mentioned this one earlier. It works with Shadol Fusion. Um, any fusion, so Instant Fusion, Shadol Fusion, if you want to play Thunder Fusions, whatever, this will allow you to search for an invocation. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, Beat Cop. It's a generic, it's a generic uh, link to, but sometimes I'm able to get off his second effect, where I'm able to give a token to a macabre to stop it from being destroyed. So it's incredible. Generic light, G generic. <laughs> Nightmare Phoenix can pop the Mystic Mine, force the crescendo. It just it forces things, and that's what you need. Then we have Aramax. It's my stun play. Uh, yeah. It's my stun, really. Brawl Sword, beat down. Not not always needed, to be honest, but it will come up. It will come up. Now I have my two instant fusion targets, being Invoked Raijin and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Raijin, if you have Magical Meltdown up, it's actually... It can't really be negated, because it would have happened on the summon. If you just quickly flip over their, their monster, it cannot be stopped. And this... 
Monster on board for steel. They're both really incredible. Now I have my El Shadol Construct. It's incredible. It's the one I make my Shadol Fusion. It can destroy a special summon monster by attacking into it. And if it's attacked into by a special summon monster, it destroys it. And it's not once per turn, so that can come up sometimes. Thunder Dragon Colossus. It's, uh, it's annoying to deal with. <laughs> now I have my Kaliga. Kaliga, actually, you can banish Thunders and get full Thunder combo just by making this. And that will sometimes come up, which is incredible. I have my Purgatrio. Beat Stick. Uh, it can gain 200 for each card your, your opponent controls, which against decks which have complete spam everywhere, it comes up really well. And the two Macabre, you can't really play any less than two. It's a uh, negate and banish. It works really well against cards like multi roll. Now onto my side. I played three Dark Ruler No More. Incredible against Pendulums, Thunder, and it's one of the key cards you have to play against some of the decks played nowadays, so has to be included. We have three Artifact Sanctum, plus a Scythe. If you're forced to go first, this will help stun for a turn and just allow you to do what you need to do. You have three Infinite Impermanence. If you need to side out Phantasme because they don't use links, I usually go to this because why not? It's in the gate. <laughs> Three evenly. Incredible card. It needs to be played by everybody at this point. It just basically almost wipes their entire board. It's key. It's another key card. And then we have three red, two red reboots against any of those weird Guru decks, Draco decks, or any of the strange ones that you could potentially see. I'm now going to speak about some of the matchups this deck will um, likely be against, going by what happened in the YCS and what deck seemed to top, starting with August, which was actually 50%. So my deck, I believe, has a really good matchup against August. Um, it's a going second deck, but if it's forced to go first, I would always jump to the Sanctums, as I just shown, because the Sanctums you can stop them from bringing out Galatea, who makes the Crescendo useless, um, it's very good, but if I'm still getting to go second, there's a very high chance I would be able to side out my three called By the Graves, and instead I would likely put in three Imperms, because nowadays with August, since Mermaid's been banned, just hit the Scrap Recycler. I mean, I'm sorry to people that love August, because I'm a big fan of August myself, Everybody knows that's really going to hurt. So, but besides that, I think there's enough in this deck to hit. So the Cosmic's going to hit the Crescendo. Steal that Galatea, if not false, the Crescendo. You know, there's, a, there's a, just a lot of things you can do. The Effect Failures could also hurt. So I think everything in my current build, I would usually leave in against August, depending on the certain build. The next matchup I'm going to be speaking about is Thunder, which is actually one of the most painful matchups for this deck. So of course I'll be going second, and I would actually be trying to side out, because um, I don't believe most Thunder decks seem to be playing spells such traps, and the ones that do, it's very rarely, from what I saw at YCS, which I wasn't fully able to get into, sadly, but I played the double up. I removed these, because they wouldn't always play links from what I was seeing, apart from some Summer Summoner, but they didn't always pull it off. and. This is Spell and Trap Removal. So I'd side out these for, once again, my three Imperms and three Dark Ruler No Mores because using these can stop the Colossus, which is the biggest hit to this deck, and these also can stop that Colossus, which completely destroys my deck. So this is kind of, in my opinion, the best way to play against them. And once again, going first, you would need to put in the all-important Artifact Engine, which will stop Colossus and them completely building a board which is broken, and besides that, I think everything else in my deck is perfectly fine to stay. And yeah, that's that one. The next matchup I'm going to speak about is Sky Striker, which once again, I think my deck is a really good matchup against, because everything, everything, just either have lots of spells, I can keep them on my spell and trap removal, the instant fusion completely stops their Shizuku, but depending on the variant, sometimes Especially nowadays that Widow has been hit, I'm so sorry uh, to the Sky Striker players, but we have the two red reboots and the three evenlies, because evenly will almost always 
really hurt them. And in Red Reboot, it can hit all the variants that play Strikes or the most recent one that topped YCS London. I'm pretty sure that was very trap heavy. And for example, you could remove the Instant Fusion, which isn't very necessary to be removed because everything is really strong. There's also the Effect Veilers. They would be a very good one to remove, but at the same time, everything works. It just... It's very specific on the way that they play Sky Strikers because I think the majority of the cards in here still hits them very harshly. So against that matchup, it's kind of preference and depends on the specific kind you're against. So I believe that this deck, once again, its main strong point against Salad is just it can battle through their boards because their main goal is that they can be consistent. They can usually out-resource you, but... This deck is really good at battling through what they were able to set up and destroying it completely. And of course, there are cards in my side which would be very good against them, for example, the Imperms. But it really depends on how they're once again playing. But I believe that as long as you're able to play the deck correctly, you can easily battle through what they have to offer. So even Phantasma is really strong against them. Of course, it's a very expensive card, so it's understandable if you're unable to get your hands on it, but hit the Mirage Stadio can no longer send your cards, which has come up for me multiple times. Um, I just believe that as long as you can out-resource them and just kill them in one turn, you'll be perfectly fine. And either way, Colossus is in my, is in my extra deck. And as long as you can make this as well, I forgot to mention, this will hit Sky Strikers, this will hit Salad, this can hit... Thunder. It can, it's a very strong, very strong card, which people usually underestimate. And another thing to mention with my side is that this is in no way the best side. It's been adapted to my locals. It's been adapted to the way that I play. And just feel free to, if you want to play a deck that's like mine or similar to mine, then adapt your side to your locals. And in no way is mine the best in the world. It's just, it suits my play style. Why do I play my Thunder Engine instead of my Mech Knight Engine? Because I used to actually play Mech Knight Invoked, like most people did, or I actually played Mech Knight Shadow Invoked, because I've always loved Shadows. Is because the main reason I played these was their big bodies, and they search each other, and they can special summon themselves, and the big reason was their light targets. But these... These search the light target. These also allow me to play a law, so I'm not getting rid of my invocations. I'm actually banishing my shadows. I'm keeping everything I need while being able to search the light that I was after being Hawk. As well as Thunder Dragon Colossus being able to stop people from searching, which is an amazing effect which can come up. And to make light of the Morning Star, of course, it could search the secret, which I played as well. But I've actually found out that stopping people from searching is 10 times stronger. And he is really hard to get rid of because he can protect himself. He's actually a really strong body that people struggle with a lot more than they ever did my mech knights. And sure, this worked really well with pinpoint landing. And I've actually always loved pinpoint landing. But I just feel like this gets you the light you need. It's a big body. And people can actually find a lot, lot of ways to get rid of secret. This is 10 times harder to get rid of, in my opinion, than Secret. And it's just... I just feel like it works better for me personally, but... Being able to stop people from searching, it can hit Striker incredibly. It can hit... Salamangre. Like, they want that Gazelle, you just say no. Like, they can't, they can't get that Gazelle. So, yeah, this is kind of my opinion. And if there's anything else that people would like to know, or if anybody has any more questions, then feel free to message me or a comment in the video. I'm in the Invoked group on Facebook. Um, yeah, this is this has been my deck profile and I hope you'll enjoy and feel free to subscribe to see more of my videos. Thank you.